More hospitals are turning to virtual nurses as a solution for the ongoing nurse shortage across the country, including here in Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass is in Ann Arbor to show us how a new connected care program works. Imagine being a nurse and you have to help care for 22 different patients and you do it all while sitting here in this chair. And with a click of your patient's button, you can be inside their room in a matter of seconds. Hi Jim. Hi. How you doing? For 79-year-old Jim Hunter, it's been two weeks in the hospital. Can you squeeze? While registered nurse Jeannie good, Patton good. is there for physical care. There she come. Hi Mr. Hunter. Hi. It's Kayla the virtual nurse. Is it okay if I turn the camera on? Sure. Another registered nurse, Kayla, provides virtual care. Hi. It's a program here at Trinity Health Ann Arbor that's been in place for almost three months. 66 rooms across two units are equipped with the technology, while two to three virtual nurses work out of a control room in the building. I think it's a big game changer. Registered nurse Amy Coyle worked more than a decade in the ICU, but is now one of the first virtual nurses at the hospital. If somebody is, you know, puts her call light and says, you know, my, my IV is hurting, we can zoom in on that area and see is it infiltrated, is it leaking, is it partially pulled out. Do you feel like it added to his care? Almost definitely, yes. A few months ago, Jamie Farmer's father was one of the first patients to have a virtual nurse here. He's since been discharged, but Jamie, who's also a Trinity nurse, was impressed. We felt like the, the speed that his call light was answered, we felt like he had more eyes on him, and then again, when we would come in to get updates, the virtual nurse would come on and give us updates right away. It's really having a whole nother caregiver available to you to help in whatever that need might be. Chief Nursing Officer Katie Hoffman says all virtual nurses are RNs with at least eight years of experience. She says their support helps avoid burnout for younger RNs. It is an extreme issue. Patton says she felt that burnout from a previous job, but the virtual support helps her handle more patients without more work. When I get a new patient, they do a lot of the admission questions. They do a lot of the admission period and that saves me a whole lot of time. In a statement responding to the program, the Michigan Nurses Association said in part, quote, time and time again, healthcare executives who make millions try to find shortcuts to save money rather than focusing on listening to nurses and prioritizing safe patient care. We know what the numbers look like. We know what schools produce every year in terms of new nurses, and we know what the gap is today. So doing nothing is not a strategy. Now, right now, this is only being used in select units in select Trinity hospitals, but the plan would be to potentially move it system-wide. In Ann Arbor, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.